All right, so to wrap this up, right, two two quick, uh, I guess, applications. So in business, of course, you know, you want your revenue. Well, you really want to make more money than it costs you to 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 drive your business or to create your business. So you're looking for profit. But in some cases, you always want to kind of know, okay, what's what's my break even point, right? Where where what I'm spending. And what I'm making are, are equal, okay? I mean, I won't make any money, but I don't have to shut the doors, okay? So if your costs uh, are greater than your revenue, of course, you're losing money. And most businesses, you don't have to, you kind of have to be wise about it. So that's why you always kind of find this break-even point. So let's look at this. This company has a, has a revenue uh, for a particular product that's modeled by R equals five thousand five hundred eighty five x and its costs are given by an equation or a function if you want to say that equals sixty one thousand seven hundred forty thousand uh, or sixty one sixty one thousand seven hundred forty plus four hundred forty times x all right we're trying to find out how many thousands of tons of this product need to be produced to break even okay now x is the number of thousands of tons all right so what i'm gonna do now remember your system will look something like this well actually we're doing break even but if we had to put in system mode all right we would say revenue well we wouldn't even put the revenue we would just say uh five five eight five x and we can, I guess we can put revenue. C equals 61740 plus 444 four, four. X. And let's clean this up. Boom, boom. All right. So that's kind of what your system will look like. But, but in this case, we're trying to break even. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to set these guys equal to one another. And if that's set equal to one another, that's screaming, solve me by graphing, okay? Because we're going to use our handy dandy app. All right, so let me pull up uh, Desmos. All right, so as you can see, my green line is my revenue, okay? My purple line is my cost so we're trying to find our break-even point again where we technically make no money all right so now look we want X which is the number of thousands of tons and that's looking like 12 okay so just that simple I graphed it so X equals 12 thousands I guess you say 12,000 tons, okay? 12,000 tons. Real simple. Didn't do any work. Right? Grabbed it. Got the answer. All right, and then this last one. Now, it's a little bit more complicated because we're dealing with medication. So, it's very important uh, in the medical field that you get your dosage correct. Because um, if it's off... You literally can kill somebody, okay? So what we're going to do in this, this this problem, all right, a nurse has two solutions that contain different concentrations of a certain medication. One is 12% concentrated. The other one is 8% concentrated. How many cubic centimeters or cc's, that's what they'll say in, in, in the medical field, of each should she mix together to obtain 20 cc's of a 9% solution. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we need two equations. So let's say our first, our first, we know total we need 20 cc. So we're gonna go x plus y equals 20. All right, and we can go ahead and that's that's what we want, okay? Total, that's, that's, that's how much of this medication we're putting out is 20 cc's. All right, so that's our first piece. Now, our concentrations. All right, so we're going to say X 
is 12% x, which is 0 0.12, plus 8% of the second, I guess you would say, medication is y. Equals one that final, that final solution to be nine percent concentrated, but we know we got twenty cc's. Okay, so we got to do like that right there. All right, this is our system. So let's clean it up. I'm gonna go x plus y equals twenty. Okay, then we're gonna do point one two x plus. 0.08 y equals 9% of 20 is 1.8 cc's. cc's. Alright, our units are in alignment. Alright, here's our new system and let's highlight it. Boom, boom. Alright, so again, it's a real world example. You, If you want to use substitution, go right ahead. If you want to use elimination, go right ahead. I'm going to use graphing because it's 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 laid out in that form. I know how to use my technology. I know I know how to set the window. Uh, but use what you're comfortable with. Okay, so I'm gonna come here, go to Desmos. All right, all right. I've already plugged this guy in. Let's see. All right, now my now notice what happens. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. So my window needs to change right so there's one and they're kind of sitting on top of each other oh all right so let's see let's try to play with this window let's go uh let's go out the, let's go to a standard 10 by 10 window okay just to try to get a feel for this guy so i'm just doing tens all the way around oops negative 10 positive 10 uh, we're going to step by one. And that might not. Oh, there we go. Boom. So I just, you go with your, your with, if you, you plot something and you can't see it, just go with a 10 by 10 window. Uh, negative 10 to positive 10. Uh, stepping by one. Or well, that's your scale. And do the exact same thing with your y axis. And then most of the time it should fall in there. Okay. So ooh, too much, too much, too much. So I'm looking. And notice, we need this point, right? Now, we don't need a break-even point. We need we need to know how much of, of each medication we need. So I know X is 5 because we're right there. X is going to be 5. Y is going to be 15. All right, so we come here. All right, so I know I need 5. Oh, my bad. I need 5 cc's. Now that first, I guess first medication or X. So first medication is five cc's. All right, second, second one we're gonna have fifteen cc's of the second medication. All right, and that, my friends. It's how you take what you just learned in terms of systems of linear equations to solve real-world applications. All right. Talk to you soon.